when you're given velocity time graphs, you can actually obtain the displacement uh, from them by calculating the area under the actual curve. So that's exactly what I want to be able to show you. So when you're in grade 11 physics, you probably are going to be um, running into this problem and maybe, you know, even in first year, okay, universities, okay, or colleges, or maybe even grade 12. So now make your life as simple as possible when you're trying to find these areas. And I often, when I deal with them, uh, just break things up into triangles and then squares or rectangles and make it as simple as possible. So it's just a matter of adding okay, these actual composite shapes that we are going to create. Let's take a look here at what they ask. So they want to know to find the displacement, so right here, over the first three seconds. So if you do this, now if you want to have this over three seconds, that means we're basically going all the way up to here and we have to find this entire area under the actual curve and the area is between the curve or the lines and here the actual zero. So that's what we want to be able to find. So an easy way to do this is for the first two seconds, it looks like it's just a triangle that I have. So I can break this up into two pieces, one piece and here's my second piece that I will have. So this is for part A. So I'm gonna break this up. So this is my first piece, it's a, it's a triangle. Now the area of a triangle, you should remember in grade 11 is base times height and half of that. Now for us, we have units and notice that the velocity itself is in meters per second and it looks like it's going west. So, you know, to the left there. And then time is in seconds. And if you wanted to calculate this, this is going to be one half um, the base itself. Well, the base is the time in this case. So that's going to be two seconds. I'm going to just keep the units there for um, just sake of reference. The height itself, and it looks like it's 30 meters per second. So 30 meters per second. And I'm just reading this right off of right here. So that's the height. Okay, that's the base and we want to know okay, half of that. So now, as you would be calculating this, actually this two and this two, so two divided by two, so that's gone. So this is going to give me um, 30 meters. Now, what I want you to pay attention to and the reason why I left the units is because this seconds and this second, right, they'll cancel and they'll just give me meters. And that's the reason why you have that the area under the actual curve gives you a displacement that you're carrying out because notice that you're back to the units of meters in here and it's going to have the same impact on you no matter what you do with these particular areas so you can think about that's why you're taking the area under the curve because you want the actual units now to cancel off so this is going to be 30 meters right so this is for that now um, because this is a velocity, right, time graph, we don't actually know where we're starting of. We know that it looks like we're moving in the west direction, but we don't know our initial position. So that's why you can't really find the positions directly unless someone gives you more information, right? So it looks like we started off from some position and then we're going west. And so what we're moving along with, so if I just draw this out, okay, now again, I don't know but I do know that I have covered, you know, 30 meters in the first two seconds from some starting position, okay, to here. That's why it's just a displacement that I am figuring out. So that's one. Now, the second one, so this is going to be, you know, that little triangle that you have. So finding the area is much easier here. It's just, you know, base times height because it's a, it's a rectangle that I have in there, sorry. So that area, so this is area number two, area number one is gonna be base times height over here. And for me, so the base is one second and the actual height is still 30, 
So this is 30 meters per second. This is all going west. Notice again, the seconds and seconds cancel and I am left with 30 meters. Okay, so another 30 meters. Now I'm gonna, maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna just break this up, okay, and duplicate this, but change the color, I'll make it red over here. So what that means is, you know, what you would continue in there and the meaning is it looks like we were speeding up, right? Like we were going faster and faster for the first two seconds. Then it's flat. So that means we're going at 30 meters per second for a second. So, you know, it's basically we're going at the same speed right there. So we're not speeding up or slowing down. We're just going constantly, but we've covered another 30. So in there, so as you were kind of going along, so this means that, all right, so we're still moving along west. Okay, and we've covered just another 30. So in total, when you add them together, you know, you would have you would you would have had a displacement. So you would have had a displacement over the first three seconds, and that displacement would have been equal to 60 meters that I would have west. That would have been the actual displacement that I would carry out in there. So there, there you have it. So that would have been part A right there. Now for part B, it gets a little bit more annoying um, because in part B, what they ask us, and I can copy this whole thing down actually. So let me do that so that I can clear it up, clean, clean it up for us. So let me copy this. And they're asking us for the whole thing for the seven and a half seconds that they have drawn out. So let me shift this over. Okay, so there you have it. And I'm gonna you know, remove this right here. That first triangle is still gonna work, right? So now if I'm gonna break this up, I will be doing this. So I'm gonna go from here to here. So this is actually gonna be my number two. Um, the next one, if you notice there, you know, it's not the nicest uh, ones because it's not really a, tr you know, a triangle or a rectangle. But, you know, if you forget, so it's some kind of a trapezoid there. Okay, so, but if you forget, notice that, you know, I can call this three and then I can call this four. So this will break it down into a triangle and then a rectangle. Then I can call this right here. This is gonna be five. Um, and this one, again, it's a little bit tricky, okay, in there. So in here, I need a, okay, so I have two. So I'm gonna call this one six. Okay, and this right here, so from here, this is gonna be seven, okay, right there. And then finally, okay, you know, from here to here, this is going to be eight. Now, these two are on the negative side, right? And these, all the other ones are on the positive side. So if they're on the negative side, you will just subtract. And actually, just by symmetry, notice that this triangle and this triangle, they're identical. They're just, one is positive, one is negative. So technically, I will actually not have to calculate them because they'll just cancel each other off. One is positive, one is negative, right, that I have. But I do want to kind of go through because I want to also show you what the meaning is of this, you know, as whatever this might be. So they're going west, right? So at some point, okay, and then what happens? Okay, so along this particular tail, we've already done one. Right, so we've done number one. We know that this was 30 meters, okay, in terms of coverage. So as, as you're going along, okay, so this is what happens. I'm gonna start kind of drawing this, this whole thing out in here. And hopefully it's gonna work for me, okay? So this is my first 30 meters going west. All right, so that's from number one, 30 meters going west. And it looks like I've been speeding up because my speed is increasing in that direction. Then, okay, as I have gone through, so notice this is for number two. For number two, if I wanna find the area in there, so that's base times height. Uh, this actually looks like it's, okay, uh, that rectangle that I have in there. So this is going to be 1.5 seconds. This is the base and it is being multiplied by, so this is 30 meters per second. Again, seconds cancel. So right there, this is gonna be 45 meters. Okay, 
So that's number two. So what this would mean is as, as I as I would be moving along, right? So it's kind of going to go up to about halfway there. I'm trying to scale it as well. So this is 45 meters. This is number two, okay? As I've gone and shifted over. So this person, okay, or whatever this might be, this object is moving in the west direction as you're going through. So this one's done, this one's done. Number three, right? So now it's gonna be three, okay? And it's gonna be four. So this is, okay, these two I have to combine together. I have to add them up. Well, number three, so that's a triangle. So that's gonna be one half and it's a second because notice it's from four and a half seconds and three and a half seconds. So it looks like it's one second multiplied by, now be careful because the height, it doesn't go all the way from the bottom, right? So the height is this from right here to right here. So that's from 10 to 30, which is 20. So that's 20 meters per second, right? So that's what I have there. So if you calculate this, it's gonna be 10 meters right there. The seconds are gone and it's 20 divided by two. Um, and number four, so that's a, a little rectangle there. So it's one second multiplied by the height is 10 meters per second. So again, second seconds cancel. That's why it's now meters. Well, notice that's another 10 meters. So this in combination is 20 meters. And that is for this. Okay, so during that distance right there. But now notice, it looks like, so it goes from here to here. And notice that it looks like the speed because we're now slowing down. Now we're still on the positive side. So we're still moving in the west direction, but we're slowing down. So you can imagine a car going, but slowing down, it's still moving. So then it has moved 20 meters along in here. So that's gonna be from here, that's 10, 20. So it still stays about there. So that's another 20 meters that it has shifted along. But now this is both three and four and it started to slow down right there. Now, number five, this one is simple, okay? So number five, it's actually the same one. So one second times 10 meters per second. That's what we have. So now our speed is constant at 10 meters per second. So it has moved another 10 meters over here. So this is gonna be a short little arrow right there. If I can draw one, there we go. Okay, so that's another 10 meters. That's number five. So you can still see that it still keeps chugging along. Now I have this little six, okay, in there. So that's one half, now it's positive. Um, that's, that's half a second and 10. So half a second and 10 meters per second. All right. So this is, well, this is tiny, so it's five, so this is only two and a half, okay? Two and a half meters, okay? So it's shifted over, but notice what has happened. It has gone from, so this is at 10 meters per second, and now it's slowed down basically to a stop. So now it's gone to a stop. So it still has moved, um, and now it has moved a very tiny amount, so unfortunately, because I'm drawing these where each square kind of represents 10 meters. So, you know, this would have been a very tiny, tiny, tiny little arrow. So, you know, it's kind of like, okay, it goes all the way over here. There's a little tiny arrow, you know, 2.5 meters, and then it stops here, okay? And now what happens, so as you can see there, it does start to speed up, right? So it does start to speed up. It goes from zero and goes. Now you might think, well, it's negative. What do you mean it's speeding up? Well, because of the direction, right? So it's on the negative side now. So now it's going east and that seven is the same. So I'm not gonna recalculate it. It's, a, it's exactly the same, except it's gonna be negative, you know, 2.5 meters. So what that means is for us, now it's moving in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna try here, you know, so now it's moved two and a half meters this way. So if negative 2.5 west means a displacement east, 
all right, of two and a half meters. So now I've shifted over here. And then lastly, okay, so that's the last one that you have in here, that's this right here. And that's for one second, and that's gonna be actually, so there you go, so that's number eight. It's still negative. And so that's the same box as number five, actually. So that's one second and 10 meters per second negative. Okay, so, uh, so that's going to be negative. So one second and times negative 10 meters per second. Okay, because now it's west. So now it's, it's moving in the opposite direction. So that's going to be negative 10 meters that you're going through there. Um, so now it basically shifts you back over here all right so you can see now you can add all of these up together and you're going to get exactly what the total displacement was right so the total displacement that you're carrying through would have been the entire amount but so that is this so if you draw because it is indeed a vector you know if you would draw this it's going to calculate this vector for us that's what this would be, right? Because all the other ones just cancel each other off. So as you're adding these through, you know, so yes, 30 plus 45 plus 20. So I guess that's 95. So that's going to be 95 meters. And then it adds 10 plus 2.5 minus 2.5 and minus 10. So all of those are going to cancel. So all of these, this cancels with this, this cancels with this. Okay, so all of that, so these pieces right here, although there was movement, you know, slowdowns and back to speeding up, but it got us back to over here, so to this point. So in terms of a displacement, that's what it is, right? Because it's just calculating the displacement overall. So there you have it. So it's 95 meters west. That would have been the displacement for this. So by looking at this, I hope you know that you will be able to understand these little graphs. Okay? And this example just kind of illustrates to you what you would have to do. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in a future video. Happy studying. Bye, everyone.